Hi, I'm Rob Chapman. I'm Andy Ferris. Please don't bring your own refreshments into the cinema. No, we'd prefer you to sit there and starve. <laughs> While you watch us discuss the three most popular guitars at Toman for under 1,000 euros. I'm glad you followed that link. Uh, under 1,000 euros. We're here in Trappendorf. We are. Renowned and famous for its original days thousands of years BC in trapping dwarfs. And now it's the home of uh, Toman, <laughs> where they trap you and your soul and make you want to purchase beautiful guitars, like in this beautiful high-end room. Take a moment, explore, experience, and then stop. And then stop. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, I suspect with the brand new adventure or something. Got a hold of me tightly. Maybe what are going to ask the and check out the three um, I just touched that mic stand I said I wasn't going to touch. That's all right, because we're not playing through it yet, Andy. We're going to go downstairs, and Laura from the marketing team. Hi, Laura. Spy Hi. She's waving. Ah, Laura. She's spying at us through the window of vision. You may not see it, but you may be aware of it. She has selected three guitars for under a thousand euros mm -hmm. uh, that are the most popular guitars at Toman. What will they be? We have no idea. Do we know? I, I genuinely don't I know. I genuinely do, do not know. I have an idea. I've got a clue. I'm going to guess that at least one of them is a insert name here. I think they're all going to be Fenders and Gibsons, personally. I think there's definitely going to be some Mexican Fender in there. Hmm. I think it's tough to find. What was that tongue thing? <laughs> that was a thinky tongue. <laughs> okay. I'm glad oh. I don't have a thinky tongue. Uh, let's cut to us in the shop being given these guitars. Three, two, one. <laughs> we're in the store. It's I time to- I've got to stand up so I can't do it. Yes, I wondered why you were so low. That was a hole. You really are a giant man, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> really, what are we going to say then? Um, we're at time in the store and we're going to check out these three most popular guitars for under 1,000 euros. 1,000 euros. That was unnervingly nice. Do you have the merchandise? Yes, I have some merchandise for... Yeah. Oh, it's an LTT. I genuinely did not think this shape would be an ESP product. Well, the clue is in the name of the guitar. But... It's the EC1000, which stands for Extremely Cool 1000. Extremely cool with that. <laughs> I didn't think that would be that. That's the, one of the most popular guitars under a thousand euros here at Toman. I really thought it would be Epiphone doing. Mm, definitely, 100%. It's shock number one. Please may I have shock number two? I'll hold that for you, Bob. Oh, really? Wow. So we were right on the Fender product. It's the That's... Jimi Hendrix. It's the Jimi one, isn't it? Yeah, it's got the reverse pickup at the bridge. Yeah, look, he signed it on the back. Oh, he did a lot of these. I've never played these authentic Hendrix Fenders before, so this is going to be <laughs> an interesting, an interesting uh, experiment. It's going to be fun. Because look, the headstock's the wrong way around. Who else would do that? And what is, please, may I? The, I just want to hold may, it for a moment. The third, really? Wow, how interesting. Oh. It's a Harley, it's a cool looking Harley Benton. This looks like the Joe Perry. SC55, thank you, sir. 550 yeah, Deluxe with Roswell humbuckers. You know what this looks like. It comes with strap locks, too. That's pretty cool. Uh, any surprises for you there? Yeah, I'm surprised there's a Harley Benton in there. And I'm surprised it's that one. I'm extremely surprised there's an ESP, uh, LTD, sorry. And out of all the strats, I guess, I mean, Hendrix and Strats, you know, they're pretty well but known together. Is this because it's a brand new product? It's not a new product, is it? It depends how we define the most popular in under 1,000. It does. We asked Laura, and Laura said it was sales per annum in the last annum. Right. So when this was released, it would have sold a lot of product. I suppose that's it. Doesn't say. What, do you want to do prices? Like, that's 820. Why don't we do them in the room? Okay, ignore what I just said then. Back in the room, with a number of interesting surprises, I think it would be fair to say. Two out of three, yeah. Two out of three ain't bad. Two out of three ain't bad, said me. That's a nice colloquial British accent for you if you wanted one fair from the Forest of Dean. Cheers, love. <laughs> Cheers, love. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got there, Rob? Well, I've got this LTD 
EC, which is extremely cool, yes. 1000. Uh, I used to own one of these, and I also owned the really expensive Japanese version. They're really well made. Um, this one is made in Indonesia. And it is everything a metal person would dream of in terms of a stealthy, black, beautiful, high-driven, love it, dirty beast. Super into that. And through this Mark V, it's got all of the EMG goodness being soaked up by the valves and spat out by this little wooden box. Sounds like this. <laughs> pickups at the end. Um, are we surprised that this is w one of the three most popular guitars at Timon for under a thousand euros? I'm more surprised than a room full of surprise people. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, if someone, had, you know, if, if this was a competition, I'd have lost a lot of money right now if I was betting on that. Yeah, I totally would have done. Uh, in fact, actually, LTD as a brand, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have imagined they'd be no. in there. I would have thought it would have been Schecter or Ibanez or Epiphone. That was kind of what I was, that was what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm surprised it's pushed out those brands, specifically Epiphone. Let's I mean, talk I, about there the must be a, 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 double, a single cut in there, but to be that one? Well, but also let's talk about the fact that it's EMG pickups yeah. in one of the most popular guitars at Toman. That's interesting because EMGs get a lot of online hatred. Yeah, they do, for you no reason. Them, you give them, you, you give them hatred sometimes. You go, EMGs, um, they're, they're me good. They're no good for the, the Is that what it stands for? I don't know. Electromagnetic, great. Um, I'm surprised and really happy for LTD. Yeah. Congratulations, LTD. Your guitar, this guitar, EC1000, is one of the most popular guitars here at Toman. What have you got, Andy? I've got a pick. And next to this pick is a Jimi Hendrix signature Strat from Fender in Mexico. Shall we get you a nice tone? Well, we can try, because it's going to be very, very different to your tone. <laughs> oh, but Hill Billy Hendrix. A Fender Strat. We all thought a Fender would be there. I was pretty sure it was going to be a Strat as opposed to a Tele. I thought it was going to be a Baja. Yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. That's under a grand, isn't it? Yes. I am. I don't know if I'm more surprised or less or even the same amount of surprise as any. The same LTD. amount of surprise. <laughs> I have, I've left my surprise at home, uh, so I forgot to bring that it. That old chestnut. But I am very surprised that it is this specific model. Yeah, well, I suppose the thing is, Jimi Hendrix is huge, and over the year, they would have sold thousands of this model when it came out, and then as a result, this is the most popular, one of the most popular guitars for under a thousand. Sure. It's an authentic Hendrix, Hendrix product. Hendrix, there's more than one of them. <laughs> there are. And um, where was it made? It was made in Mexico. Right. And um, I don't know how many he signed, but this one is authentically signed by Jimi Hendrix. How does it play? Like pretty much any other Strat. The interesting thing is it's got this round the other way. Right. Which gives us different things to other things. Yes. But I, I, quite, I really like the pickups in it. Oh the, man. The amp's helping. But, it uh, really is helping. It's a beautiful amplifier. I think um, we've got under a thousand and then over a million with this one. Mm. <laughs> the rig is pretty expensive right now. So the last guitar, under a thousand euros, is a surprise but then not a surprise. Because it's a Harley Benton, 
but then Toman is the only place you can buy a Harley Benton from. So I thought, I thought someone was going to hand me the guitar, but there's no one stood there. Oh, <laughs> you know the best things come in heavy packages <laughs> yeah I made that up but I, I definitely stand by that statement the best things are on heavy packages um, yeah, as you were saying Rob as you were saying carry on mate as I was saying the best things come in heavy packages Tymon is the only place you can buy a Harley Benton from mm -hmm. therefore it's going to be high up there it's affordable it looks like kind of a high end Les Paul it looks like the Joe Perry to me. It does. It's very tigery, isn't it? And have you got any idea how much that sells for? Uh, I can tell you exactly how much it sells for. Do you want to take a guess? Three, two, one, guess. 269 euros. Oh, really? So under 300. This is the SC550, which, uh, Deluxe, which is near the top end of the Harley Benton right. single cuts. And, um, that's why that's the best selling, one of the best selling guitars. Because it's so affordable. Everyone that aspires to owning a really high end Les Paul looks at that and goes, well, I'll just try that for a bit and see if it'll sort me out. Can I give it a little spin like that? Yeah. So where is it manufactured? Um, it is manufactured in Vietnam. So, all right, interesting. So Vietnam, Mexico, Indonesia. Mm -hmm. um, shall I switch you back to the setting that this was on? Yeah, let's or see Or do you want this... like an in-between bluesy sound? I'd, I'd like you to do something without even looking and see what happens. Uh... That sounds nice. It's very warm. Should we just really briefly compare the pickups? Because yeah, absolutely. EMGs. So that was. Hang on. Um. So those are Roswell, which yeah. I guess are Toman's own brand of pickup that would go into Harley Benton's versus. These are a load brighter, aren't they? Yeah. It's like almost like a treble pickup version. Yeah. In fact, here's this. Play your treble pickup. Let's see if it's the same kind of brightitude. Now play your treble pickup. Oh! You wanna go for treble on yours? I really wanna hear how trebly the treble is. I prefer those pickups. I do. I hate myself for saying that. <laughs> I do. I don't know why, but they sound great. I don't know what I've done at the back of the app. <laughs> play, play again. Can we get an amp technician what is in here? <laughs> that sounds good. It really does. Um, I'd like you to play this one. Since we've got two single cuts. I'd like to play that one. Uh, uh, let's see. Is there a slight weight difference in these There's two? There's a little weight difference. There's also a giant price difference. Can 
can I have a go on this? Yeah. <laughs> Pressured to not say really good things about this guitar. It's just when you were playing, how can I hand this to you because I don't want to say it? <laughs> I feel pressured to say, I feel pressured to not say good things mm. about this guitar mm. um, because I think that viewers will probably go, ah, they're being paid by Tomen. I'm being paid we by We know Tomen. you. Yeah. We know you. Uh, and they probably want me to go, ah, the Harley Benton's not very good. Unfortunately, the Harley Benton's really good. And it plays great and sounds great. So. I can offset that, Rob. I offset can offset that with me. some real word talk. Do it. I don't understand why Harley Benton have the SC400, which is, we used that in a previous video, and it was pretty doggers. Right. It was pretty not good. You didn't like it. Didn't like it, didn't sound good, didn't feel good, didn't play that well. And then we modded it, and it changed. But the SC550 is such a great guitar, and there's such a little difference in price, really. It's yeah. double, but it's still in the low end. Interesting. Of the three guitars, which would you take home? Okay. Intercourse, marry, push off a cliff. <laughs> which one? Which one would you? <laughs> All right. Taking into account my current collection, yes. which includes a pretty standard rock. You can't take cut. into account your current collection. Then. Okay. Then in that case, one. which guitar are you taking? Home? I'm taking which this you pushing one. Off a I'm cliff? taking this one. You're taking that one home. Absolutely taking. Which this one, one do you push off a cliff? <laughs> Probably that one as well. I'm a very complicated person. <laughs> uh, I'm going to push off a cliff. The Harley Benton, just so the comment people can't get me for, for pushing the Harley Benton. All right. So I would, I would definitely have a one weekend getaway with this stealthy, soft looking one. Right. But the Hendrix Fender is the one that I would want for me to be my life partner. Right, interesting. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably, honestly, I'd f this, marry that, <laughs> and then I'd push that one off a cliff. <laughs> I've been Rob Chapman. <laughs> and I've been Andy have Ferris, and um, that's mine now. Yeah, have a tremendously good day, and um, join us again soon, please, for the most popular three guitars at Timon for over a thousand euros. Different guitars, not these. Any guesses as to what they will be? Cut! Uh, let's cut to us in the shop being given these guitars. Three, two, one. <laughs> I just moved your mic, dude. Sorry. That's Sorry. gonna that's gonna happen again. No, it's fine. It's fine.